A half century may have passed, but these former students from Our Lady of Angels School on Chicago's west side say December 1st, 1958 remains fresh in their minds. We were having a history cl class and uh, the door started to rattle. That was the beginning of it. Um, we thought it was funny because some boy said it's ghosts in the hallway trying to come in. Turns out it wasn't a joke. A few seconds later, smoke started seeping into the classroom, causing a horrific scene. The room uh, started becoming unbearably hot. Uh, it was becoming impossible to see. It was very black. And the light fixtures that we had exploded and the shards of glass just rained down on us. We all hit the floor screaming. A fire was burning inside a cardboard trash can in the basement, and 1,600 kids were trapped in classrooms throughout the building. An alarm eventually went off, and fire officials were called to OLA. But the blaze and toxic smoke engulfed the school, killing 92 students and three nuns. And you can always look back and say it shouldn't have happened, but... Those things do happen. There were fewer school codes in those days, and that building was all wood. The floor was wood, the walls. So that building really lit up and burned quickly. A wave of grief and guilt ripped through the city, and condolences poured in from around the world. Andrioli and Mordarski say while the fire caused a lot of people lifelong physical and emotional scars, some good things did come out of the disaster. The deadly fire prompted a major overhaul of fire safety codes, not just in Chicago, but in schools across the country. It also brought these survivors together. They didn't know each other before that tragic December day, but they met in the hospital months later. Gradually, as we got older, we started to go out on a date, and that was the beginning of it. And then we got married. So that's definitely a good story for us. The couple wed at Our Lady of Angels Church. They've been together now for 31 years. Wassenson, The Associated Press.